Merry Christmas and welcome to our home. We are so excited to show you all around, inside and outside. First, let's take a look at the porch. We have wreaths on all the windows with red bows and there's lights on all the eaves, which stick around to the end to see it lit up at night. I put a lot of thought into the design of this house, how it would look at Christmas time. And so I really love seeing all these wreaths on the windows and the garland over the door. Bonnie's gonna show us around. Stepping in the front door, we're greeted with these tall mirrors with a pretty wreath right in the middle. And this is a nativity set that my husband's grandmother made for us when we got married. We also have a matching garland right underneath this transom window leading into the rest of the house from the foyer. Over here off the foyer is our front room where we have a Christmas tree that's decorated with our fun family ornaments and just a cozy spot to have a cup of coffee or read a book. And I love that we can see this Christmas tree, the lights from the outside at night. Okay, now let's step into the stair hall. We have a round table right in the middle and it has a pretty wintry arrangement with pine and berries. Over on this wall, draped over an antique bench, we have a quilt that my mom made. And we have garland on the handrail going up the stairs. I'll link in the description the products that I use to tie the garland to the rail. Here in the living room, you'll see another quilt my mom made, the red and white one. And over here on the mantle, I've got two different kinds of garland. One has a little bit of eucalyptus in it, and one is the one that sells out every year that I have linked below. Also have some lanterns for that rustic woodsy feel that I'm going for. My theme for this year in the living room and the Christmas tree was sort of a wintry woodland theme. So I kind of use that as my jumping off point and inspiration. And these stars, they have all the different names of Jesus throughout the Bible. It's something that our pastor at our old church used to recite every year at Christmas time and I always loved it. So I wanted to incorporate that this year in my decorations. I'm always looking for little ways to really remember why we even have Christmas and to celebrate the reason for the season. My Christmas tree is 12 feet tall from Balsam Hill. This year I wanted it to look like it had received a little snowfall. I'll link the Christmas tree below in the description.
To achieve the snowy look on the Christmas tree, I used duster heads, like almost like feather dusters, but they're not feathers. And I'll link those below. I just ordered a whole bunch of them because it takes a whole lot for a 12 foot tree. <laughs> Since I was going for a wintry woodland look, I stuck to elements for the ornaments and the things that I put in the tree to only things that I might find in a wintry woodland scene, like red berries, white berries, snow. I did do some little birdhouses and little cardinals. And then I threw in some ice skates because I imagined there might be a frozen pond to skate on. So that was sort of my whimsical little touch. At the very end, I remembered I had this birch looking ribbon. It looks like birch bark. It just adds that woodsiness I was looking for. The tree skirt is just batting like you would use inside a quilt. One of my favorite ways to add a little Christmas touch to everyday items that are already around the house is just to tie a pretty ribbon and a little sprig of cedar and some berries. And that just gives it a little Christmas pop. In the dining room, I kept it pretty simple. I gathered four big chunky ceramic candlesticks that I had around the house, put those on the middle of the table, and then I took a really long garland that I had and folded it in half, and I just weaved that in and out between the big candlesticks. Then I just used my white everyday plates and um, Gave them a little pop with the red and white striped napkins and I just placed a cedar wreath napkin ring on top to look like a wreath sitting on top of the plate. In the kitchen, we are keeping it simple with just a few little touches here and there just to remind us that it's Christmas time. A little greenery here and there. I like to put out my Christmas dishes so that people can just grab them and use them throughout the season. Plus we have guests during Christmas and I just want them to be able to find things and make themselves at home. And of course, our Santa mugs. Even the screen porch got a few little touches this year with some warm, cozy plaid blankets and a few little Christmas trees.
I did add a few little Christmas touches to the bedroom as well. Some little items on the nightstands and I swapped out a few pillow covers for some more Christmassy ones. When I was choosing accessories for this bathroom, I looked in particular for something with this blue color that would match or coordinate with the ceiling color I have in here. And I found this soap bottle with the gold top, which was perfect because I have gold light fixtures and a gold mirror. Well, I think we've officially worn Bonnie out with all this Christmas touring. I hope you've enjoyed this tour and you've gotten lots of ideas. Stick around to the end to see the house light up at night. And don't forget to go check out the other Christmas tours and home tours I have on my channel. If you're interested in this floor plan, it's the Century Oak Farmhouse on my website, linked in the description.